What's up beautiful people, it's your boy Judio and I'm back again with a new video. Today we're bringing Candace Owens back to the channel. We're going to be checking out her thoughts on Andrew Tate. I'm excited for this one, I'm ready. I want to see what she thinks of him. Lots of people, maybe you're watching, you probably think Andrew Tate is controversial. Let's see if she's going to agree or disagree with that. But either way, keep an objective mind and an open mind so you can accept the information she's about to give. You know, without wasting your time, let's get to it. to answer some of your questions. Let's get right into it. First question is, what are your thoughts on Andrew Tate? Tate? Okay, so Andrew Tate, if you guys are listening and you don't know who he is, I would, I guess, describe him as an online personality that is a part of the manosphere. What am I talking about when I say the manosphere? There are, I guess, sort of some public figures that have arisen that really kind of impress upon manhood, sometimes in a more extreme way. Um, you can think about Andrew Tate, uh, someone who is also followed and adored by a lot of men uh, is Dan Bilzerian, who sort of lives this lifestyle, the rich and the famous, and is constantly surrounded by women. Notoriously, was there was also Kevin Samuels, who spoke directly to men. He had a male-dominated audience. He was um, a commentator who was really, really hated by black women. He was also black, but because he sort of spoke to, you know, what it means to be a man. And so I want to sort of introduce this video compilation of Andrew Tate, just so you can get an idea of who exactly it is that we are talking about. Take a listen. Okay. If I were to get on a plane and I were to, that plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane, there was a 50% chance of it crashing. I'd want a male pilot because I think that males are better under. <laughs> I've seen this video on TikTok, but I feel like it was speaking out of context, though. Stress and under pressure, I think they're less likely to get emotional in the in the in a life or death situation. That's why they make better soldiers. That doesn't mean I'm mis that doesn't make me misogynist. That doesn't make me sexist. That's just true. Women are better at other things than men, and mm -hmm. I'll sit here and say women are better at X. But I will say that men are better at Y. I'm not going to sit and pretend that that we're all the same. We're not under pressure. When your life is on the line, anyone with a, anyone who's honest would want a male pilot in said situation. You would not want a female pilot. I am extremely <laughs> versed in CPR. I do know how to administer CPR. However, I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. This is the reality. <laughs> you talk unless you're a hot female. <laughs> I think this is a joke, yeah. <laughs> if you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you, you're gonna die. I mean, if you're a really good friend, no, not even if you're a friend, you better, if you're my friend, you just can't be a Well, I had a heart attack. Get the fuck up. Go on to later. Have a drink. Cigarette. Cup of coffee. Back in the game. I had a heart attack. You know? Yeah, he's trying to laugh from the gesture. Like, you can tell this is a joke. But the way the compilation was made, it feels like he's a very horrible person. I mean, I don't know him personally. I don't watch a lot of his content, but... I think this one, was, this one in particular was a joke. None of my friends would even have those kind of problems because I don't roll with f***ing little bitches. But if there's some dude I don't know and he needs CPR and everyone's looking at me, who knows CPR? Well, me. Help him! No. Why? <laughs> Thank you. What would you do if nah. I wanted to start an OnlyFans? I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women doing OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. As long as I had influence and control over it. What do you mean? Do the video photographer to get the angles, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. If my chick said, I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? 10 grand, all right, give me eight. All right, cool. All right. Why would, what woman is going to give you eight grand? You know why woman, you're doing OnlyFans, you're selling my product. The <laughs> selling my yes, product. Correct. <laughs> Next question. No. I don't know if you're being serious. I'm totally serious. How would I let my chick do He's definitely not serious. He's trying to like cause trouble. I feel like he knows the, the kind of wave around him, so he's always constantly shaking it. OnlyFans to keep all the money. That's disrespectful. What woman is ever going to give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. Duh. I say things that they know are true and that they agree with, but I say it in a way that angers them emotionally. And they That's what I was just saying. Yeah, he knows. It all up in their brain. Because they're saying, he's saying the truth, but I'm pissed off by how he's saying it. So I want to argue with him, but he's right. So instead of saying men are physically stronger than women, I'll say females are weak. No, what do you think females are weak? Well, females are weak, females are weak. Men are strong, females are weak. No, no, but females are, but I'm right. And he knows I'm right, but he's mad now. And so is she, and they sit there and you'll happen, it happened on Dave Portnoy. You end up having a whole group mm. of people. Sit. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. He knows, he knows what he's doing. Like, it's very, very, he's just, 
Should I say manipulative? He knows what he's doing. And they're trying to argue. Well, some women are strong like men. That, trying to argue the fact that women are as strong as men physically because I've emotionally controlled them all yeah. and upset them all. So you get it. And if you're listening and not <laughs> okay. watching, he's always wearing sunglasses. He's embodying a character and he has developed in response a legion of fans that support him. So my thoughts on him getting banned is that it's ridiculous. You can disagree with some of his ideas, mm -hmm. right? Do I agree that if your girl has an OnlyFans account, as he once said, that you should be entitled to 80% of it because your woman is your property? No, I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. But I would host him and I would debate him on that. I'm not offended by him even saying it. I think it's stupid and I would debate him any day yeah, of the week on that. That is clearly stupid. That's why... It's even crazy to be offended by that because it's clearly a joke, like it doesn't make any sense. So like, you can't be offended by that. Because I think it's just, it's not even productive to society, but why is he getting banned for this? What is he really getting banned for? You don't get banned for bad ideas, but you do get banned for ideas that are against the wave of the leftist narrative. The fact that we have people and individuals that are on TikTok, right? What's worse, TikTok advocating for minor attracted persons advocating for pedophilia, trying to put mm. a ribbon on pedophilia, right? Pretending that it's just a sexual preference as if you're lesbian or gay, yeah, I'm into children. That's the stuff that you can find online. You can actually, you can find professors that are talking about that. And they are not blocked. They have not been blocked. They're still talking about it. They're trying to introduce these concepts. What's worse, uh, people that are advocating for the castration of our children teaching children that they can pick their gender and that they should want and aspire to go on puberty blockers, which we know causes irreparable harm to their bodies. People that will grow up and they will actually not be able to have normal sexual functions. People that grow up to be asexual because they thought they could just press pause on their puberty because that's what they learned online and a bunch of celebrities got in line and said, that's great, the trans agenda, what's worse? these celebrities that are advocating for the harm of our children through all of these various means, or a guy that's a part of a manosphere that's clearly playing a part. I'll also say this, why do these people get so many followers? Why do, does Andrew Tate get so many followers? Because people can relate. You know, there are people who, he's basically speaking lots of people's minds. You know, people want to say what he's saying, but they can't say it or because the environment does not permit them to say it, so they just hide behind Andrew Tate. Why does uh, Dan Bilzerian, why do Dave Portnoy, now these people are different, but why do they inspire so many men to want to get behind them? Well, maybe it's because we are living in a society that keeps trying to force the other extreme. These men are hungry for leadership. They want to be told that it's okay to be a man, right? Because everything around them, look at the media. Oh, toxic masculinity. Oh, you're a bad person if you don't have your tail between your legs. Oh, the woman should act like men and the men should act like women, right? Men should apologize for being men. That is the message that is coming from the mainstream media. And so, of course, these men are looking for something else. Like, give me anything else. Give me somebody that at least says it's okay to be a man and these men do it. They say it's cool. I like hot chicks. And guys go, yeah, awesome. At least we said it. Stop trying to tell men that they have to like fat people, right? You have to like Lizzo. If you, if you don't think that Lizzo is hot sauce, then you're problematic, right? That's the message that they're getting. So then someone gets on a platform and they say water is wet. They say hot chicks are hot. And these men celebrate as they should because they need to stop hearing these ridiculously toxic ideas and stop being led to believe that there's no place for them in our society. I'll wrap this portion by saying this. There is no society that can survive without strong men. So this is the natural response to a society. Andrew Tate actually said the same thing in the interview. I don't know if you guys have seen the full interview with Value Statement or the podcast with Value Statement. Andrew Tate said the exact same thing she's saying right now. That is impressing upon male weakness. You're gonna get the other extreme. Why are you so pro Kanye? <laughs> I pro get this Kanye. question a lot. And yesterday I posted a photo of me wearing Yeezy Gap. He asked, Kanye and I are friends, first and foremost, and he asked me to be a part of that campaign. And I said, yes, I think he is a fashion genius. I, if you have watched his documentary on Netflix, um, you will see that Kanye West is somebody who is tremendous. 
And I, I value him as a friend. That's I mean, the best way to say it. Before I ever got into politics, here's a little fun backstory. It was Kanye's music um, that inspired me to sort of figuratively jump out of the window and just go for it. There's a song called Power that I listened to on repeat. This is before Not I ever knew him, before I was even a public power. figure. Um, I would listen to his song Power on repeat and it gave That's me the song. courage uh, to do something different, to be willing to be a black conservative in the open space that wasn't going to apologize for my conservatism. Of course, I am not the first black conservative to have a platform, um, but I think I'm one of the only ones, there might be a few that won't apologize for who I am. And I do credit that courage that I have with a lot of Kanye's music. For those of you that follow it, he has always been someone that has been courageous in many capacities when he's been told that he can't. So Kanye's story starts with Kanye being a producer he produced everybody's music in hip hop. And then he said, I want to produce my own music. And they said to him, oh, no, 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 no. You just make the beats. You just produce the music. You're just a producer. And he refused. And he stood up against that mob, if you will. And he introduced his own, his own music. And then he won Grammys. And suddenly it was Kanye West. You make music amazing. And then he said, okay, well, I want to get into fashion. And they said, no, 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 no. What is a rapper like you going to do in this high society fashion community? And he was told no. And look at him now, the most successful sneaker in America uh, with the Yeezys. And yeah. a billion, he became a billionaire, obviously, via his partnership with Gap and his he partnership with Adidas. Billion. So I think Kanye is someone who should be admired for his perseverance and for his willingness to, as he has said in past songs, uh, turn a room full of no's into a yes. <laughs> the next portion of the show, as you know, as always, is only going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. I'm going to expand on the topics of today. Plus, I'll share my thoughts on Andrew Tate. We're getting a lot of questions about Andrew Tate. <laughs> you guys. What's da Daily Wire? Never been on there. I should check it out. Seems like there's a lot of fun stuff happening on Daily Wire. But yeah, that was a very good video, good points were shared. About Kanye West though, I like the fact that he's very consistent and persistent, but I'm not a big fan of how he expresses himself verbally sometimes. Just saying. But he's still my guy though. <laughs> I'm gonna always like follow him, like his music and everything. I mean, I'm a, I admire his work. Um, I can't take that away from the man. I like him as a man too, but sometimes I like if he can trim the fat when he expresses himself. Yeah, he's not a good, um, is it orator, the right? I think that's how he said, he's not a good orator, but he's a good person. Anyways, I had a good time watching that one. Let me know what you think of that video. And we didn't even get to speak about Andrew Tate. I think Andrew Tate and Kenya West, they have something in common. We can just say <laughs> they're not very good orators, but they might be having good intentions or they might have good intentions. Yeah, Andrew Tate and Kenya West, we can say they're similar. Right? Let me know what you guys think of that. If you want us to bring more videos like this to the channel, feel free to talk to me in the comment section. It's the end of this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.